So, a few months ago, I played Pablo Toscasa. Ah. Oh. Uh. It was fun. But a few months have passed, and I'm again checking to see what kind of content I can make. And I noticed that I never really came back to play the original Five Nights at Treasure Island. You have one unheard message. Hello, Jake. Hey there, this is Greg from the Supernatural Studies Association. I'm just leaving you a message to notify you that we have a position open that you might be interested in. A small one, but hey, it's intriguing nonetheless. Currently, my team is doing an investigation over at this abandoned island. You might be familiar with it. The locals refer to it as Treasure Island. We just need someone to look over the place for a few days and collect data for us while we get things ready over a base. Should be a simple task. An easy way to get credits, too. Hopefully you're interested. Give me a call back as soon as possible. Bye. So here we go. Okay, first of all, settings. Optimize mode, subtitles, we sync. Okay, subtitles. Subtitle customization, nice, fine as it is. Face cam mode. What does that mean? Please keep your face cam inside the yellow box at all times. Thank you. Okay, my face cam is over there. Night one. Move the microphone, sorry about that. Tip, turning off the office lights can save power, but be very careful with the switch and don't stay in the dark. Can't promise anything. Hey Jake, this is Greg. Hi Greg. Thanks so much for doing this again. I'll be sure to give you some extra credit when I finish up with these papers. I don't like... This subtitle is on top of the lights. Especially since you're just an intern. But I know you're gonna be oh, there it goes, fixed. The team's just waiting for some equipment to be shipped out to the island, which should only take a few days. So while we're busy over here, you're over there collecting data for us. Now, I'm pretty sure you've heard some of the rumors about this place. It's the reason why we're all here after all. I'm not allowed to confirm or deny anything yet, because of the legal agreement we have with Disney. But let's just say we found some questionable things. We thought they were costumes, but uh well, look, it doesn't matter. We should need you to keep a close eye on them. If you look around the building, I need to click sure right in the square, I hit it. I'll do it from what we've observed. This thing can only hear. It has pretty weak vision. If it does happen to wander into your workspace, just turn off one of your. Oh, I skipped. Okay, we're starting. If it does happen to wander into your workspace, just turn off one of your security cameras. The loud sound the camera makes should blow that thing away. Try to be quick about it though. You probably only have a small amount of time to react. Alright. I'm gonna leave that all up to you. Oh, don't mess around with this. equipment okay. too much. That stuff costs a lot. Good night. I mean he flashed the commands um for like half a second. What commands again? Shift turns off the lights, control, hold my breath, I guess. And space turns off a camera. Okay. Uh, this is the second time I'm doing this night. Not the second time. Uh, but I managed to skip the call. And I got lost. And it's not like I finished the night. I got to 5am just fine. But um... Yeah, I didn't have the call on video, so I... Have to restart everything. All right. Also, I like the other day when I was recording this on the uh, like afternoon. Oh, there it is. Now it's early in the morning, so my voice may be a little bit different. I say I skip the phone call, but luckily, um, 
uh, Five Nights at Treasure Island's wiki is one of the most complete things I've ever seen in my life. Like dedication, when your eyes open, dedication on these uh, on the fans of this whole story series is outstanding. So yeah, I actually had a phone call on the wiki, so I, I didn't get super lost. But I wanted to get it on video, so I'm redoing the night. Oh, I can't turn the lights on again. I left it off for too long. Oh, I didn't know this, this could happen. Well, I think I'm dead. Well, I'm gonna wait. Maybe I, I won't die. And the game is gonna be like, oh, you made a mistake. Wow, it's night one. Ho ho. Oh, there's a dog barking. And here we go, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. I had to mute my microphone. I don't know if... Oh! What is this? Hello? Where am I? Can I move? Now I can just click outside the game screen and fumble up the game recording. Night two. Just give me one sec to move the microphone again. That is one dog being a, a little prick in front of my house. I'm gonna see if I can record this without stopping again. Yeah, I know, it's a third time. Not message last night and I just wanted to join in. So, um, how's everything going over oh. there? Did you see anything interesting? Probably. Oswald. From a friend told me, it seems he left out a bunch of details. First off, I think he called those things costumes, but, well, they're not. We aren't entirely sure what they are or what they can Too sure if all of them will be lured by the sound. If it doesn't work, just try hiding or something. I don't know. Hiding? Oh, also, did Greg mention Osborne to you? He stays inside that old storage room. Oh, Maybe he, should he moved. Uh-huh. If you pick it up and start moving around like Mickey, just shut up one of your cameras. Keep in mind that Oswald seems to like hiding in darker spots. So he might be harder to see on the cameras. Make sure you take a close look around for him. I've got a ghost in, but one more Oh. Well. Okay, so if you see a thing, shut off a camera. With space. Something in your room, shut off a camera. Something skulking around in the dark, shut off a camera. Someone trying to sell you something, shut up a shut off a camera. Or something. <laughs> so if I shut off that camera, I'll pull someone. Nope. <laughs> They're both still there. Uh. It's 
So I need to play closer attention on the darker spots of my own vision. Doesn't feel like I need to be on the cameras all the time. I just need to be careful when something shows up in front of me, at least for the time being. There may be like the classic camera mechanic at some point. What the f- You know, just turn off camera. This game is so quiet. The power is gonna be <laughs> something, isn't it? Like it's, it's, it's second night and my power is in 15%, 13%. This is unheard of. Unless I'm going super bad at the game. Which I may be. Oswald is looking straight at the camera. So, oh, here we go. 6 a.m. And we're back here. Oh, that was that. So, a bit of an intermission. Um, usually how I do stuff is uh, I record one night, I record a piece, and then um, I see how the piece is, like there is any interruption in the background if I need to repeat somehow. So sometimes I leave the game on. And well, let me just um, show what happens if I leave this game on for a while. I'm gonna fast forward this. And then it crashes. Night 3. The headless one can feel your movement. Try standing still. Ah, now enters. Is it control? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, I'm not on the screen. Ah! Oh, yeah. uh, uh, hello? Hi. Hello, is anyone there? No. Wait. If anyone is hearing this, my name is Henry. Hello, oh, Henry. I, I don't have much time. I'm one of the SSA's interns. I'm stuck in pirate caverns. Please, whoever finds this message, help me. I know a lot of things about this place. I can't say it all over the phone. They could be listening. Just please come get me out of here. I'm on the second floor. Oh. So the game kind of stopped giving me hints of how to play. What the fuck is that? Sorry for swearing. <laughs> Calm my surprise. There is a very... Oh, 
Go away. Oof. A lot of things all at once. Kind of by surprise. As I was saying, uh, can I talk now, please? Thank you. Can I talk? There's so many sounds. It's getting a little bit difficult to communicate. There was a, a mini on one of the cameras. Thing is, they want to shut off. Right in the corner. Um. Okay, what the hell was that? I tried. Oh, I tried so hard. Yeah, for the time being, there isn't anything to show up on the camera. That is important for me to keep a watch on. If anything, I just have to pay attention to anything that shows up in the room. And have enough power to survive the night. Which I get power by turning off the lights every few seconds. So the movement that I'm doing right now is just... Can I talk now? Just... Every few seconds, go into the camera, flip a camera just like for the sake of doing it. Like to an, an active camera. And then go back to the room, turn off the light for like 3, 4, maybe 5 seconds. Flip a camera, go back to the to the room, turn off the lights. Flip a camera, go back to the room, turn off the lights, and go on like this. Priority is any enemy that needs a camera to be turned off. Because dealing with the headless, that's what the game called it. It's just a matter of standing still. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Almost died. Messed up a little bit, but I'm fine. Still doing fine. Still doing okay. It's 6 a.m. Right? Wow. This is the cutest boop doll I've ever seen. Part caverns. What, what do you mean by that? Night 6? You're not alone. Pay attention to everything. If there are eyes, it's the flesh. There are no eyes, then still. It's just a corridor, I guess? Move and interact. Hold space to use a flashlight. Shift to use a camera flash. Control to stand still. Oh. Ah. Okay. Why did I do that?
Mick. Muzz. Uh, I must say something. That maybe I shouldn't. I can. I'm afraid of using the real names. I know the characters. I'm just afraid of looking like. Oh, it, it is. Miguel Hato. <laughs> is Miguel. Why did it? No. Go back. Do I have a time limit to be here? I don't feel like I do. Here we go. Can I go here? No. This way then, I guess. He has eyes, you stand still. You, you flash your camera. If it doesn't have eyes, you stand still. I can check if they have eyes if I use my flashlight. Did I use my flashlight on that? No. Should I be dead? 100%. Oh yeah. I fumble up real time. Real big, big fumbles. They are lying. Lies, lies everywhere. Miguel is going crazy. Do not listen. <laughs> what is that? Proper English. One tip. One of them has eyes and can see you. Try hiding in the dark. Alright? Did I say it was night 4? Night 4! Oh, there's no phone call. Um, I just controls again. Oh, there we go. Whoop. Hello. <laughs> they are all piled up together. <laughs> God damn. Oh. So apparently there's something new. Oh, was that it? Uh, I don't know if it's visible, but I think I panicked for half a second. There's something in the room. Um, hi, go away. There was something on the corner of the room. I don't know if it was very visible. I may have to zoom it up a bit. If I did, well, then I'm I'm talking to the wall. Why did I change the unworking camera? Fucking duck. Sorry for swearing. <laughs> Ducking duck. Go away. I, I turn off the light. 
It's kind of hard to see that thing on the side. Oh, oh. Don't panic. Sometimes it's just panic because I'm fumbling up the things. And also, I'm afraid of just leaving the camera up. Leaving the camera down. And just like... Fucking thing. Sorry for swearing so much. <laughs> just the movement of these things is, is very unsettling, especially this stupid dog. How many batteries I have? Uh, can I, I should have finished my thoughts. I'm afraid that if I don't flip the camera, uh, negative Mickey won't appear in front of me. As in like, oh, is that a, a good thing? As in like, it's gonna glitch. It's gonna show up in the room. But because I didn't flip up the camera for a while. I'm not gonna be able to see him. Stupid duck. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. This movement that I'm doing is the easiest way to track how much movement I should be doing. Three, four, done. One, one, two, three, four, done. Okay. Oh, hello. Which one of these, these freakazoids are you? Oh, he's gone. Oh, no, he's dead. Hello. Are you big? Oh, don't flash the... F don't do that. Tip, the dead walk. It can... I... Press the button. Oh, there's a phone call this time. Oh, more or less. Well, it's a nice chair with mom and pa. Exactly what I wanted. What's that? Is it gone? Nope. Still there. Nope, still there. Still there. This is troublesome. Can you go? Well, a little bit of overlap. Just a little bit. Still there. Still there. Still there. I can't see. The lights are off. Uh, Pluto just kill me. I'm gonna restart. If I show up a clip of Mickey screaming Pluto, Will Disney complain about my video? Is there any um, Mickey cartoon that I can use that is... Uh, I don't think there is. Um, open... Not... What is it called? Open source? Copyright free? Something like that? It's gone. 
quoi Ok. Juste... <laughs> juste... Uh, juste, like, the old... Mickey costume, pointing his fingers at me. Am I in a working camera? I am. Not anymore. Oh. I know there is uh, one of them. Kill. I panicked. I panicked. The worst part is... I'm pretty sure that... Um, I'm pretty sure that just like Obito's Casa, I'm gonna be forced to do Night 6. And it's gonna be an insane boss fight like situation. Yes, Pluto again. Pluto! And the light type. So I came to the wiki to see if I could understand what's up with Pluto. Because I wasn't understanding how to deal with Pluto. It doesn't seem to react to anything else that I do. Well, Pluto contemporarily appeared in the darkness at the laboratory office during night 4 around 12 a.m. He can also rarely appear in floor 2 of the pirate cab while I'm on night 5 and he's showing up quite a lot. In both situations, Pluto growls but does not pose a threat to the player. Pluto will leave the office after a short while and will leave floor 2 after the player leaves the phase in which he appears. So basically, I'm being trolled by the devs. Oh, real close. That green Mickey. Oh, 6 a.m. Yay! It just took me to learn how to deal with Pluto. You have one unheard message. Excuse me. Hey Jake, I'm a little late to notify you about this. My apologies. I'm just leaving you a message to let you know that we're gonna need more time. I know you probably want to get out of there, but there's been a few issues over here at base. And you're gonna have to stay at the island for a little bit longer. Oh. I'm super sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. Just try and keep everything stable, and you'll be completely fine. I'm sure of it. I'll notify you when we're ready to pick you up as soon as possible. Thanks, and good night. Hi. What is that? The horror glass. This is the, the goddamn monster from the, the sewers. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to play Night 6 to finish the story. Night 6, 12 a.m. It seems they have combined. Pay attention to the starting position. Use the defense according to starting position. What do you mean by that? Up. Oh. Hi. Uh, hello? Hi. It's me, Henry. Can you stop in that? Starting position, what do you mean by that? 
isn't just some dumb legend that the locals made up. For anyone who's hearing this, the code is 3497. I repeat, 3497. Those things are still after me. I don't know how much time I have left. If anyone is out there, meet me at the caverns before it's too late. Please. Oh, there it is. Oh, it is Horglass, I think. Uh, oh, it's gone. So starting position, who started there? Um, I remember... What's her name? Linda? Saying that Oswald started in the storage? That's the storage, right? It may be. Oh, what the hell is that? So, if it starts in the roof, it's the same. Check his original beginning position. Where is he? Got no clue. I may have shut off the light of somewhere. He was not standing still. Oh, he just restarts. Because usually he just throws me back in the menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he spawns in the roof or in the storage, uh, if he spawns in the roof, I turn off the lights. If he spawns in the storage, I shut off a camera. He didn't do any of those things. I don't know where he is. He's over there. So eventually I was able to finish night 6. I will not add to the video my full struggle because of the length. I don't want to make another one hour video. But I'm, I am going to add my last run to this to the video. I don't talk during this one. I decided to go full focus. But in the end I finally caved in and decided to use one of the strategies you'll find in the wiki. The way this night goes is, you have to remember the original spawn point of every one of the ghosts that you find during the five first nights. And then use the way you use to win against these ghosts in order to, to finish the night. For example, if his spawns were goofy, uh, the headless goofy uh, ghost thing shows up. When he comes into the room, you have to stand still. If he spawns where Oswald shows up, when he goes into the room, we have to turn off one of the cameras and so on and so forth. The strategy I used in the end, I, ha I focused on camera 3 and camera 4. That is where Oswald and uh, the negative Miguel spawns. If he shows up there, he comes up into the room, I turn off one of the cameras, any other camera, not 3 and 4, because I need those those two cameras. As the night goes on, he goes faster and faster, so at some point a lot of cameras gonna be shut off. If he shows up anywhere else aside from those two, then I just both stand still and turn off the light at the same time. Um, at some point they made a patch where uh, if you tried to turn off a camera, if you try to... at some point they kind of patched the game because people were using the three actions at the same time that they would stand still turn off the lights and turn off a camera at the same time so they patched it so that if you turn off the camera at the wrong time you die but they didn't patch the other two so you can just do that now for the general night reveal 
I decided to separate it because I thought it was his own beast. Since I didn't really need to use the camera during the main game, I felt like I needed to relearn a, a basic mechanic in order to finish this night. Like I needed to forget some of the things that I, I knew in order to learn how to finish this night. In a fun way, because of the challenge, I found it I found it fun, more because of the challenge, but at the same time I felt like it hurt the game a little bit. Um, again, since I didn't have the I didn't use the camera for the majority of the game, most of the time I after some points I learned that I didn't have to use the camera. I just needed to react to anything that came into the room. If that thing needed the camera to go away, I just toggle the camera, shut one off, and put the camera away and don't use it until I need to actually use it for something. I didn't use it for surveillance. I'm pretty sure if I didn't have the wiki to properly understand how to deal with this thing, I would have an even worse time than I did. It would take even longer to finish it. In sum, the challenge and the concept of the fight is good. It's, really, it's a really fun fight. But it fails in the design. If I was encouraged to use the camera more as a surveillance during the game, it would be it would be better. I would think a little bit better of it. Of course. Uh, as a heads up, I already played Albertus Casa. At this point, as I said in the beginning, it's been a few months since I played Albertus Casa, since I streamed it. So I can assure that the fight, you have a similar endgame fight against a boss. The fighting that is a bit more polished and it takes more into consideration what you did during the game. Again, this fight isn't bad, it just suffers from the design. And that's my review of it. Okay, sorry, I probably was a little bit more rude than I intended it to be. I wrote a script for it, enjoy the any.
Ah, okay. Barret caverns. What? What? There's more. There's more of this. Okay, I'll I'll give my sigh of relief and my um way of doing this. After um, hold on. So I've been reading the wiki while I'm doing this. Um, yeah, I'm a fury cheer. I know there is a. Uh... I know there is a. <laughs> there is a password. Okay. And then I have to go again. Almost died. It's fine. Do I have to get the key again? I don't think I do, but I'm going to check. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Good to know. I'm somewhat winded from night six. I'll give my full review in a separate uh, audio file. I probably did, and I'm just talking to myself. Three, nine, four, seven. Three, four, nine, seven. So for the dog. Yeah, sorry for not, um, Willy. Sorry for not talking during that end scene. Did you guys notice that there was a Walt Disney in the corner? Old Man Walter? But yeah. Uh, I'm, again, still winded from a few tries doing um, Night 6. I'm gonna let the, the credits play. Actually, never mind. I'm pretty sure because some of the scenes were not seen in the game. I think because Five Nights at Treasure Islands, this whole, um, for people who don't know, 
this is not the original there have been tons and tons of like there was a first one way back then that was just like pretty much a draft a, uh, almost like a demo it released demo but it was kind of buggy it was kind of unpolished it had the tendency to crash and not make a lot of sense but it received a lot of updates i'm pretty sure like that original went up like six or 5.0 6.0 something until at some points came this one which is the remastered re-release <laughs> look at that remastered re-release of a uh, of the original financial treasure items so even though some of these scenes are not in this game i'm pretty the functland the functland i'm pretty sure um a lot of these scenes are from the previous versions of financial treasure islands but it's cool it's fun and you the player for sticking with us through the years Thank you all for playing. Alright, review time. Sorry if the game is kinda laggy or if the image is different. Um, it started lagging for some reason. So I put it on optimized mode. Uh, atmosphere and design the game is based on a creepypasta I don't know if anyone ever went and checked uh, the creepypasta this game is based about so atmosphere uh, and design of the characters they're pretty good um, again this this whole high I'm trying to avoid the whole high school thing uh, like middle uh, school thing of going like oh I really enjoyed it it was really pretty I hate, I hate it. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid it. But yeah, I like the design, uh, the gameplay aspects. Like, uh, just you, you're being forced to face the darkness, and every time you do that, the game just goes m quieter. Like the music dies, and you're just forced to face forwards with the ambient noise. And sometimes you just have the eyes in the dark, just staring at you. I'm pretty sure I cut from the editing a bunch of the events that happen during the night during when you turn off the light but yeah there's a bunch of things that happen go play the game to see it as always um, there is custom night on night mode custom night is just challenges and adjusting with like the usual stuff there is some characters that you need to play the game a lot to unlock and I don't want it to increase the length of the video, so I'm not going to do it. Classic mode, I have no idea what this is. In the end, I really enjoyed the game. Night 6 suffers a little bit. I put my review on editing already. So I'm not going to talk about it again. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.